Well, the main reason I kind of sought out kind of hair restoration, I suppose it's the same as everybody else. I mean, I, I was losing my hair, didn't know what I could do about it, um, didn't want to go down the, the wig and, um, uh, you know, hairpiece route. Because I, you know, particularly if you work in comedy, you know, wigs and hair pieces are one of your staples to use. Uh, so I didn't really want to go down that route, but I didn't really know what to do. And so um, it got to a stage where I, actually it was, it was a job that I was doing. And um, the makeup artist on it said to me, have you thought about having uh, a hair transplant procedure? And I said, well, I don't know, you know, it's expensive and it's kind of, you know, it's, I don't, you know, what if it goes wrong and everything. And she said, you know, there are lots and lots and lots and lots of actors that have done it and, um, and, you, wouldn't, and you wouldn't know. Uh, so then I started to kind of seek it out, really, and I kind of rang a few places and, um, and then had a really good conversation uh, with the clinic manager at Dr. Farjo's Institute and then had a more in-depth conversation with him. And that finally convinced me. Yeah, the reason I chose Fajo was that, um, do you know what, it's, it's really little things sometimes. And uh, the first conversation I had with the uh, clinic manager, he said, do you really need it? And I said, well, I think I do. And he said, well, I, I, you know, I know what you do and uh, maybe you don't. So why don't you come in and, and have a conversation? And so uh, when I came in, I was impressed that there wasn't a hard sell about it. It wasn't saying, yeah, definitely come in and uh, take your checkbook out and uh, here's your hair. And, uh, and the conversations then about what could be done and uh, you know, how much it was and what my budget was and all the rest of it all seemed very upfront and honest. And so uh, that's why I kind of initially I, I kind of thought yeah I kind of feel safe I mean that's the main thing you've got to feel safe you've got to feel that you're in in good hands uh, and I did very quickly so you know I, I had sort of came and had the procedure done the actual day I mean you know you're nervous going in because it's new and and all the rest of it but actually it was um, you know it, it was pretty easy going actually I mean it's uh, depending on what you have done, it can take half a day or it can take, you know, the best part of a day. Um, but you, you kind of, you're up early and you have a consultation again to make sure that, you know, you're clear and they're clear about what you want and uh, and also your expectations as well. I mean, you can go in saying, you know, I want to fro, like, you know, the Jackson 5. And, you know, maybe just unrealistic if you're kind of like, you know, uh, if you look like me. And, um, and so similarly, you know, there's a kind of uh, uh, an important conversation to have about, you know, uh, your expectations and um, making them reasonable. And also for uh, the surgeon as well to kind of know where you're coming from. Uh, so all of that is kind of important. So those conversations were had. But actually, um, the, the day itself was, was quite easy. I mean, it wasn't... wasn't uh, uncomfortable. Um, it was a little bit of discomfort, but I wouldn't say it was painful at all. And, uh, you know, you're given sedatives and, and uh, local anaesthetics and stuff like that. Um, but it was, no, surprisingly stress-free. And Dr. Fajo was always available. I mean, it was, uh, or the, you know, the uh, clinic uh, manager and director were always available to talk to. And that wasn't the case with some of my friends. So I thought, you know, it's uh, it's not like I'm being paid for this or anything, you know. It's uh, but but I just thought, yeah, uh, it's not something I'm embarrassed or ashamed of. There are thousands and thousands of people who do it. There's no reason for people to admit that they have had it done. It's completely a personal choice. Um, but I just think it's it's important that who, whichever surgeon you go to, you've got to be reassured. It's the most important thing. You know, let's all accept that they're all qualified. They've all got kind of numbers and, and letters after their names. But you have to be uh, reassured. And I'd say to anyone, just make sure you're happy with the person that you're doing it.